and today we are going to be reacting to are these the creepiest creatures to be ever seen this i don't believe in any of this but and like i don't think any of this is real but if y'all do then comment down below what you think what part of this video was real so anyway let's get started into this video <laughs> Is that Dobby? Yeah. For Harry Potter fans, Potter. that would be a treat. Such an honor it is. But for one Colorado mom, not so much. Vivian Gomez was thoroughly creeped out by what she saw on her home surveillance video. He opened the door because from the cameras, you can see a shadow on the fence. Then he stopped at the front of the car and did a little dance. Across the country and beyond, people have reported their own creepy sightings. From the supernatural to the extraterrestrial. I think it's a dog. This news reporter came face to face with a mysterious creature on live TV. I'm not sure, um, but uh, anyway, <laughs> there's some sort of creature below me. She had no idea what was lurking around her or whether it was going to attack. But the animal's owner later came forward to say it was her dog, Pooch, who made a cameo on the news. While that mystery was quickly solved, another one has been plaguing a Wisconsin town for years. People across Elkhorn claim to have seen the Beast of Bray Road. That thing, that was no dog. That was too big to be a dog. That thing was bigger than me. It had really big claws. It was holding its roadkill like it had elbows, and it was kneeling on two knees. Some claim it scratched their cars, while others say it was so scary they were afraid to go near it. Many have even floated the theory that it's a werewolf. But the beast remains just folklore to this day. But could these footprints be proof of another mythical creature? The abominable snowman? Also called a yeti, the Indian Army took these photos of footprints claiming that they were found in a national park where there have been other yeti sightings over the years. Sightings and other evidence of such a creature have never been verified, but it is said to inhabit parts of Asia. And is that a UFO? U.S. fighter pilots training in Florida couldn't tell what it was either, and they reported seeing a whole fleet of them. Inside Edition, Stephen Fabian spoke with a former government official about what the objects could be. So they easily outmaneuver our frontline combat aircraft and sometimes accelerate away at thousands of miles an hour. Speeds that would rip apart an F-35 or an F-22, uh, it killed a pilot. We have really no idea how this is being achieved. What could they be? Yeah, great question. So we all want to know. While those pilots saw something on their radars, are these people seeing anything with their cameras? One mom says she captured video of what appears to be a woman staring down from a window as her son rode a bike. She says she didn't notice the figure until she watched the video later. I mean, that could have just been While another man thought he saw this image of his dead grandfather peeking through the window of his old house. Again, yeah. hello? Amateur ghost hunter yeah. Jason Griffith yeah. said right. mysterious things have been happening at the house since his grandfather died two years ago. Griffith and his friends decided to take a closer look for themselves to see if grandpa was still present. Whoa! <laughs> that is horrible. Something just like, it was like a footstep right next to me. Are these all just wild stories? 
four elusive creatures waiting to be found. Maybe one day we'll all find Ooh. out. So otherwise, like, it could basically be whatever you think it is. And people just lie about what they have. So I have a little bit of time left. I'm going to go find another video for y'all guys. Okay, so fair warning, if you do not like clowns, you might want to click off this video, but we're watching this, so... Uh-oh. Everything went black for a second. Anyway, so let's just start this video and see what all this is My daddy is scared. Brianna, why? Why? For me, mommy is scared, scared. It was after seeing something like this, Maria Madeira's daughter, Brianna, refused oh, to go to school. Gosh. What's worse, she spotted the clown scaring kids near her school. Pope Francis yesterday at the end of the day. I just saw the clown. There's people running because they are scared about the clown. Toronto police investigated. Two teens were involved. One dressed as a scary clown screaming and chasing kids. The other taking video to post online. After a stern lecture to the 15 and 16 year olds, no charges are pending. The Catholic School Board says there have also been threats regarding eight other schools where parents have been notified. A lot of the threats are through Instagram or Snapchat and they're up and, and then they disappear. And um, some of the schools have been listed uh, and we've passed that information on to Toronto Police Service. Hit it! Hit that bitch! Hit that! Online there are lots of posts about the pranks. Like this Toronto Clowns page, where one comment reads, Watch your back, we out here. Here's your knife. No one really knows why it's happening. One theory is the remake of It, based on Stephen King's book. Parts of it shot in Toronto with the killer central character, Pennywise. Here I am, Weezy. Even the master of the macabre himself tweeted about the creepy clown pranks with, Hey guys, time to cool the clown hysteria. Most of them are good, cheer up the kitties, make people laugh. His fans posted funny videos like this one. But at the Catholic school board... I mean, it's not funny. And definitely at the forefront is always student safety, and we take any threat seriously. The, the copycat syndrome and the fact that social media drives a lot of this bad behavior doesn't help. The board says teachers are educating high school students on the negative impact of the behavior. Stephanie Matisse, CBC News, Toronto. like and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing check out some of my other videos i have just click my channel icon and thank you so much for watching again bye